Hey, this is a pretty cool black and white building, isn't it? They call it the Matilda House and it's a conservation piece that's smack in this condo, District 19, Pongo. It's rumored to be haunted, but I think, let's check it out. So I'm pretty sensitive to this kind of energies and it feels okay to me. Anyways, if you're looking for a 2 plus study that's very spacious and in this very convenient location for just 1.08 million, then I think you're gonna wanna keep watching this video. Because this is a treasure trove. Developed by Simlin, this project was completed in the year 2015. It houses 882 units, starting from 99 years of 2011. The land size is 27,527 square meters and is built up to 82,999 square meters. We've got 15 blocks up to 16 level and two levels of basement car parks with 809 lots and there are also 14 handicapped lots. This condo comes with full condo facilities and amongst them you've got recreational tennis court, children's playground, gymnasium, several swimming pools with a fun slide that's pretty cool. Welcome to the unit guys. So we're just going to go to the floor plan because this unit layout is a little bit special. Let's go through it. Okay, through the door you're coming straight into the dining space where you've got a bomb shelter for storage living room, then balcony, and then two good-sized rooms, both with attached bathrooms, and even a study. So the yard has a maid's bath for your common guests, and even a drying ledge. So let's start in the balcony first. I'll give you a little bit of orientation. This is the northeast facing, and you can see to my rear over here, you just directly, diagonally across, is Waterway Point Mall, where you have all your amenities, your shops, retails, all that. Then you've got Waterway Terrace, this very colourful building. It's a premium HDB. And then the Church of Transfiguration, you've got, you know, the primary school over here. And then the far left over here, that's Pongo Safra, where you can do all your family activities. So let's come into the living room over here. And then you've got a very nice, spacious, and squarish living room and you can see that our tenants have fully utilized the space over here placing in a desktop over here and then this is actually the dining space leading into the bomb shelter which is basically storage right this is the actual uh, front door over here so this is north so this is northwest facing okay for those of you who are interested in feng shui now let's go into uh, the very interesting kitchen over here there is a glass kind of pass over here which you can open up, you can serve the food right out, it's very nice and convenient. Well, you can also close it up and keep the fumes in. Gas hob, hood, and oven down below. Then let's go into the yard. So this is the yard over here where you have, um, this over here is the maid's bath, and you have even a service ledge over here for drying your clothes, specifically demarcated. Okay, I want to show you the bedrooms. Typically, you would have you know, your common bathroom in the hallway for everyone to use but this bedroom has its very own ensuite. It's a good room size, okay? you can put in a single bed and then you still have enough space you see for all your jamming gear over here, full height built-in wardrobes and if you just step this way, I will show you the ensuite bathroom which is very rare for a common bedroom. Along the way, the walkway to the master bedroom, you actually have, you know, the DB box and all the necessary uh, open net and all that. Then in the middle over here, there's the study room. So check it out, it's very nice and nifty. Perfect for you to set up your work desk just like this. There's even blinds and AC, which is very nice and comfortable. And let's head into the master. The master is large, full panel, glass windows that let you see through. So we're on the low floor, so it's basically greenery. You've got trees and all that over here. Big queen size setup. You've got space for a TV console. If you want to, you can put in a dresser over here. Then you've got this full height cabinet over here for him and her, which is perfect. And then, whoa, check out the bathroom. It's very large and generous in space. And the fittings are lovely. 
So if you've been enjoying this home tour so far, then smash the like button and consider subscribing to our channel because we'll keep bringing you more home tours just like this. By the way, if you just come over here in the master bedroom, you can see from this block directly down, you have direct access to the side gate which leads you to the bus stop. And then if you want to, you can just walk all the way up to waterway point which is really convenient for you. So now, let's go to who this is likely for and how you can afford this place. Okay. So if you're just getting your very first home and you like the idea of having two separate ensuite bathrooms and then an additional bathroom for your guests uh, because you like your privacy in your own exclusive bathrooms, then this layout is very special and very likely going to appeal to you because there's even a study room for you to quietly do your work and hold all your Zoom meetings. So let's talk about the financial aspect of this thing. So at the price point of 1.08 mil, if you're taking a bank loan of 75% at the interest rate of 1.5, then a loan tenure of 30 years, then you'll basically be looking at a $2,795 monthly installment, which is very palatable for a unit of this size. So if you're going to factor in your uh, CPF, that's probably $1,260 then this figure over here is just a cash component which is very, very doable. Okay, now let's look at the investment angle of this thing. So to compare this, let's go into the inter-project range. So A Treasure Trove has an historical high of $1,283 per square foot in October 2018 for a 1,044 square foot unit and the historical low is just $556 per square feet in October 2011 for a 4,129 square feet unit. So this unit is nicely placed at $1,180 per square feet which is well within a reasonable range for this condo. Okay, so if we're looking at the all-time high and you're entering at $1,180 per square feet, then you're immediately buying into a profit margin of $103 per square feet, which is very nice. So now let's look at the radius of one kilometer across all the comparable projects in this area. So you've got 599 year leasehold properties here for comparison and they start from the range of 2013 completion all the way up to units that are still building under construction. So the PSF average range is $960 per square foot to $1,364 per square foot. And A Treasure Trove sits at $1,055 per square feet which is comfortably in the middle and very well positioned so if you're asking about the status of the unit, it's currently tenanted at 2500 until July 2022. So if you're looking at it from an investment angle, then we did the financial calculations just now. Your cash component is definitely going to be positive even after taking care of maintenance, even after taking care of property tax. Okay, so next let's look at the location. A treasure trove is located on Pongo Walk and you've got Sutek and Sumang LRT and Pongo MRT within 360 meter radius. You also have the waterway mall just right beside the MRT which gives you the convenience of grocers, F&B, retail and entertainment. And then if you're thinking about how you're going to get around by bus, then there are two bus stops within a 250 meter radius and these are the bus services and you even have a Pongo temporary interchange just six minutes away with all these services. Okay, what about schools? Pongo Green Primary, Pongo View Primary, Edgefield Secondary, and Pongo Cove Primary are all within one kilometer radius. So if you're having young kids that are going to school still, then this is very convenient for you. So if this feels like your next home, then smash the like button and give us a call. I'm Nick Tan, Selling Singapore, and we'd be happy to show you the place. See you soon.